His bullet didn't get to me. my sister the day you married my husband. Robinson is not even made for you. Robinson is mine! And I will do everything to have him back. Get that into your thick skull. Including hurting your own sister? <clears throat> I'll get you go. My family gave you life in your hopeless state. Did you pay us back with? Huh? Listen, Beauty, you are very intelligent. And I know that you understand completely the situation. Why? Why are you making this hard for us? You fool to ask me that. Good news. You can have Robinson now. All to yourself. I don't want him anymore. I really don't. Having to fight with you lately over a man has made me sick to my stomach. It has broken me a lot on the inside. I'm done meddling with this. You can have him to yourself because what we share as a sister, what we share as sisters and as friends matter to me more. So here I am extending my hand in the friendship and sisterhood to you. Does this sound like something you can accept? Beauty? Get out. Get out. Seriously? Okay. Yes, get out. Leave this place and never come back. Out! You bloody backstabber. You can never be my sister. Get out! Come on, make me happy. She is resting with the devil right now. Good job. Good job. Thank you. I hope you guys did not leave any traces behind. You don't have a problem. More professionals in this game. Good. Good. Your balance. Mama, 
I'm always happy. Only you alone are federal government. That's good. <laughs> Oh, you guys are really professionals, huh? I almost doubted you for a minute, but you showed me that you're good at your job. Good job. Thank you. Now, let me leave, okay? I cannot be seen with guys like you. One more thing. I do not know you guys. We never uh, met. Same here. <laughs> Same here. We never even <laughs> Boy. Even her parents should talk some sense into her. She's really misbehaving. Sorry, I'm not going to take this call. Yes, hello. Yeah, who's this? What's that? What? What? Huh? Ha Hello? What's the problem, Lawrence? Okay, okay, has been shot at. Okay. Mom? They 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 call out they, they call out just just said that she was shot at by, by some good girl. Mom, I told you! I I I told you! Hi. I, I I told you! Hi, Yugi! Hi, Yugi Mo! My goodness! Uh, Robinson, take it easy! Hi! Robinson! Where are you coming from by this time of the night? <laughs> what do you really care, Dad? Now what's the meaning of this? Have you been drinking? I drank with my mouth and other mouths of any of you. Must you do this? I'm asking over a man just because of a man. Why? <laughs> She's dead. I know. <laughs> I know. Never coming back to drink Robinson with me. Good riddance to bad rubbish. You know, I told you this before. And I meant every word of it. The way she sounded, it is possible that she may have kids, okay? Yeah. I feel so too. I mean, with the way she sounded. But let me tell you something. If actually she has kids, okay, then I'm telling you that she has kids herself. Olga is my daughter because she called me father. You see that thing? That thing who just left here now that you call your daughter? If it is established that she has killed Olga, I am going to make her spend the remaining days of her miserable life in a very dark prison. In a town where I'm supposed to parade myself as the only daughter of one of the most prominent men, I'm being debased by an ordinary orphan. My goodness, Beauty. You speak about Oge with so much bitterness and hate. Is it that bad? I already paid her back in full. 
paid her back. Beauty, what are you talking about? I said what I said. Figure it out. Look, Beauty, why don't you just let Ogie and Robinson be while you marry Jerome? How do you know about him? Well, your mom told us about him. She said the guy has been coming here begging for you to be his wife. Why are you not saying yes to him? Why? <clears throat> Look, you girls cannot choose for me. If that's the reason you're here, just know that. You cannot choose for me. Because you don't know what is good for me. Really? Yes! I know what I want in a man. And that guy, Jerome, is not even in the league of the kind of men that I go for. Like you don't know. Look, Beauty, this is not about choosing for you. This is about the fact that it's a lot more better for you to let Ogie and Robinson be while you go ahead and marry Jerome. Yes, because if you think about it, this guy is like some sort of a compensation from God. I mean, your mom said he is rich, handsome, and extremely well behaved. Don't you think that is God's way of making it up to you? Why don't you just marry him and let Oki and Robinson be? You're going to be happier with him. Girls, you are my friends. Right. But I will give you a piece of my mind. Which is, if I cannot have Robinson, no woman will. No woman oh, can have him. This is serious. Hi, girls. Hello. Hi. I'm off to my room. What? Beauty. What? Beauty. Are you walking out of house? What? To be off to you when you have a guest. And who's the guest? How are you, beauty? I am not good. What's the problem? You. <sighs> you are my problem. Look, Jerome, or whatever you call yourself, stop bugging me. <sighs> beauty, beauty, are you working? Beauty, he's. She, she just walked out on us. I guess she's here. Sir, please. I'm sorry. She She's just not in a good mood today. Please. Yeah, I guess she's bitter and doesn't want to give me a chance at all. I'm extremely sorry about what's happening there. Please do not take it to heart. She's she's been having a bad day. Please. But I'm not the architect of a problem. Why would she vent her spleen on me? You see, I will never ever bother her again. Yes. As a matter of fact, I've had enough of her insults. I will not want more from her again. No, sir. She's not always like that. I promise you, she's a nice person, right? It's just that she's been going through a lot lately. And as a result, she has not been in the right state of mind. Ah, yes. Even at that, does she have to insult every one of us? Ah. Eh? She even walked out on us as if we meant nothing to her. Oh, leave me, please. I am out of here. Hey, come on, come on. This is my curse. Take you to heart. Hmm? I was thinking. Can I drop you girls at home? I mean, oh, what do you think? That would be so kind of you. <laughs> Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much. Thank you so much. At least you just lighten my mood right now. Oh, oh my god, you this see, girl. In life, you don't always get what you want. <laughs> yeah. eh? But it's not, the, it's not the end of the world, you know.
I have waited for all my life has brought unrest between my childhood friend and I. It's high time I walked out of this marriage and remain alive. Should I not move and reconcile with my childhood friend? You have refused to accept that beauty is the brain behind the attack. Maybe we are only speculating that. We don't know that for sure. Attempted murder is a serious allegation to level against someone, especially without any form of evidence. But if we file a report, if we make a report to the police, then they begin to investigate and you never know. Baby, you never know when they will pin these criminals down. Why? Baby, why? Are you stopping me? from doing what I want to do. Why? Family is everything. If indeed beauty is guilty as charged or as you speculate, I think I'll rather leave her for posterity to judge. Yeah. sent after me, fired his bullet, but he missed. You were 
not my sister. Don't say that. Don't call me family. You ceased to be my sister the day you married my husband. Robinson is not even made for you. Robinson is mine! And I will do everything to have him back. Get that into your thick skull. Including hurting your own sister? I'll get you go. My family gave you life in your hopeless state. Did you pay us back with? Huh? Listen, beauty, you are very intelligent. And I know that you understand completely the situation. Why? Why are you making this hard for us? You're a fool to ask me that. Good news. You can have Robinson now. All to yourself. I don't want him anymore. I really don't. Having to fight with you lately over a man has made me sick to my stomach. It has broken me a lot on the inside. I'm done meddling with this. You can have him to yourself because what we share as a sister, what we share as sisters and as friends matter to me more. So here I am extending my hand in the friendship and sisterhood to you. Does this sound like something you can accept? Beauty? Get out. Get out. Seriously? Okay. Yes. Get out. Leave this place and never come back. Out! You bloody backstabber. You can never be my sister. Get out! God for me. But Beauty, my own friend, refused to let me be. She has sworn to kill me all because of Robinson. Let her have him so I can leave. I don't want to die. How do I breathe knowing that I've lost you? Remember how we were when love was always. You've got to be kidding me, Jerome. I can't believe you're asking me to marry you. I knew you were going to say that because we barely know each other. Exactly. I left Japan for Nigeria because of marriage. I tried to frame, but she never wanted to give me a chance. I hope you would. Jerome, look. I don't want to die right now. I don't want to be in Beauty's blacklist, of all people. How do you mean? Beauty is the most dangerous human on the surface of this earth. Yes. Would you believe that Beauty went ahead to hire assassins to assassinate her own childhood friend, Oge, simply because her former fiance, Dr. Robinson, decided to let go of Beauty, who would usually slap him at the slightest provocation, to marrying the woman in his dreams. Are you serious? Yes. And Beauty, of course, being the spoiled brat that she is, she wasn't having it. She then thought to assassinate her own childhood friend would be the way out. 
Imagine what you would do to me. This beauty, this evil. Oge, okay, our friend, had no boyfriend all along. No matter how much we persuaded her to, she refused and said she was going to wait for the man who has been wedding her in her dreams, which of course was Robinson. Is that possible? Of course, I am telling you what we observed. As a matter of fact, as soon as Oge and Dr. Robinson beheld each other, boom, they realized that all along, they are the couple that have been wedding themselves in their dreams. Ha, I thought this kind of things only happen in movies, you know? In their dreams? You mean the guy was having the same dream? Exactly. Dr. Robinson kept seeing Oge in his dreams, while Oge kept seeing Dr. Robinson in her dreams. They were wedding each other in their dreams. Are you serious? Yes. She refused letting go of Dr. Robinson and decided to send assassins to go and assassinate Oge, her friend. Is beauty this evil? <laughs> beauty is the worst human on the surface of this earth. My goodness, I don't even know what to describe her as, but... She never wanted me. I mean, tell me the reason why she would turn around to fight you. Oh my goodness, you still don't get it, do you? Killers do not kill you because you deserve it or because they have enough reasons to kill you. They kill you because they are mean enough to execute such wickedness. I say, if you accept to settle down with me, I'll take you over to Japan where we'll still live happily and I'm sure whatever she feels or whatever she plans will not come to fusion. Just say yes to me and leave the rest. Really? Well, on that note, I'll marry you. Where's the ring? The ring is in my heart! <gasps> ah! <laughs> a problem please talk to me about it I am your husband if I have a problem if you're hurting if you're going through stuff let me know I am your husband not just for good times baby but in all times, in good times and in bad times, I have vowed to love, to care, to protect, and to cherish you for the rest of my life. If we have an issue, baby, please. Talk to me as your man. Let's deal with it. Baby. I'm leaving. What do you mean you're leaving? This marriage... This marriage has not given me the happiness that I hoped for. Instead... It has ruined the unity in the only family that I have. It's eating me up, and it only makes sense that I go. Why would you want to leave me? Why? I want to be able to walk down the streets and be as free as the birds of the air, without the consciousness of being followed or about to be killed. She did it once, twice, the third time I might not survive it. But I tried to arrest her and you stopped me. Now you want to leave me? Arresting her will further damage the peace. Chief Lucas and his wife are angels. They're not happy with me. And this is eating me up. How would you be happy living without us together, baby? Come on, don't do this to us, all right? Chief Lucas understands, to the best of my knowledge, what the problem is, and that goes for the wife. They are not the problem. I know there's been an attack on your life. She missed the first time. She missed the second time. I can assure you, baby, she is not going to kill you. I am here. Let me get the police in on this one. I beg you. Jesus. 
please. Please. I want to go. I don't want you to go. Please don't leave me. Baby, please. Please don't leave me, please. Please don't leave me. Please, I beg you. Baby, please. No, I want to go. I don't want you to go. Please. Life will be hard without you. Please. If you just allow me to take the shots myself, if you just allow me to take the shots myself, you don't go be stuck at that, you cannot ask for the phone. I know you're not going to be stuck at She cannot say that now. Wait. Nami, they talk to you. Why don't we talk to you? Why don't we shout for you now? No, tell me why don't we shout for you. You don't be stuck at that, you can't be a part of that, for the phone. Why don't we shout for you? Who will be now? Why don't we shout for you? You didn't ask me where I be. Why don't we shout for you? Wait, you won't, yeah, yeah, you won't, you won't, you won't be so heavy. Freeze! Hands up! You are under arrest. Now move it! Slowly! Move! Move! I said move! You can set to this, Amigel. Shut up, Amigel. Oh my god, that's so nice! Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll miss you, Rico. <laughs> I know you will. And I'll miss your silly head too. <laughs> I know. <sighs> my only problem is how I'm gonna leave my boyfriend to travel. Wait, what? What? You have a boyfriend? What? Are you trying to say I'm not old enough to have a boyfriend? Well, he actually left the country to go practice medicine in London, but he's back now. Wait a minute, you're <laughs> dating a medical doctor? Yes. Do I even know you? <laughs> Why haven't you mentioned him this whole time? Because he's my little secret. He's my secret lover. He's your secret lover? Mm -hmm. What's his name? But you want to know. I know nothing about him, so I'm just starting to know. Well, I'll tell you, but not now. Because, like I said, he's my little secret. <laughs> Babe, yeah. you need to see this man. Tell ah, me about him. Oh tell me about him. Hmm. He is my dream man. He's tall, he's handsome, he's educated. Okay. And his six packs are intact. If you see him, Boyfriend, we're hungry. Look you. At you, you are <laughs> blushing. For me, he makes you so happy. I can see that. Uh, he does. Do not worry. You. you know him soon, okay? I'm happy for you. Thank you. I'll Thank meet you him whenever, but I'm happy for you. How was I supposed to know? How was I supposed to know that the same man that? Beauty always fussed about is Robinson. The sisterhood and friendship I share with Beauty is now ruined because of Robinson. Now I have no choice but to forfeit my husband to my sister Beauty. No what? 
What of Ogi, your wife? Ogi left me. What? Excuse me? She left due to the incessant attacks on her. Orchestrated by... by beauty. And she was also of the opinion that... <laughs> I was going to go back to... to beauty, which of course we know is not true. Never going to happen, but... She left regardless. Oh. I... No. No. I mean, why would Ogi leave her marriage for that braggart of all people? Mm. Why? All our wedding plans shattered. You know what? I think this is the right time for me to confront Beauty. I've had it with her nonsense. What is it? Is she the first to lose a man? Hey, hey. Where are you off to, Doris? Becky, please. No, listen, you do not go joining issues with Beauty. Your marriage is just three weeks away. You need to stay out of trouble. Okay? No, Becky. I cannot just sit back and do nothing. You need to stay. No, out. Becky, please, please. Hey. Doris! No, I never knew that beauty was this evil. We've known her all these years and she's not really a decent woman. I'm sorry. I wait all my life. To meet the love of my life. To meet the one for me. The woman in my dreams. And finally I meet her. And then she leaves me. God, why am I so unlucky? educational qualifications and family name, no man finds you worthy to make a wife. Are you not? Um, um, um. <laughs> Doris. Present. What is the meaning of this nonsense? I should be asking you the meaning of the bullshit you continue to execute. What are you feeling like, beauty? What do you feel like? That you succeeded in frustrating that poor innocent orphan out of her man's arms, knowing fully well that her white wedding is a few weeks from now. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Doris! Oh, please! Cut the Doris, place. we need to settle this amicably! Calm down! You please. settle things amicably with reasonable people, not spoiled brats like this. Cheese! Oh, at least I forget. The Jerome you rejected has married me traditionally. And our white wedding is a few weeks from now. Three weeks to be precise. Oh, and again, he bought me my favorite car as a wedding gift, honey. I hereby look forward to your assassins. Send them. I await them. <laughs> oh, please. Ah, Doris. Present. Oh, don't flatter yourself. <laughs> you? Your... Jerome, or whatever you call it, in your case, are inconsequential. Because who on earth 
told you that I care who marries you. Come on, Bob. I'll ask you that in a couple of years. <laughs> I, I, I need you to be calm, okay? I, I, I want us to settle things, okay? Robinson is mine! Oh my god, keep hallucinating. I'm out of here. Just get the fuck out! I've yeah. had it with your nonsense. Get yeah. yeah. out! Oh, you duty, you listen. bloody parasite. Listen, I don't. Listen, I want us to settle this, but you two out. Are you asking? Get the fuck out, bitch! Traitor! Get out! 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 friends marrying my man. First it was Robinson. He left me and <laughs> married Oge. And now Jerome who was he was he was all over me. Has gone and married Doris. What's happening to me? What's wrong with me? pastor that officiated the ceremony in my dreams. He exists? He's real? You may now kiss your bride. Oh! <clears throat> Interesting. I have to like this post. Click the follow button and send him a message. Here we go. Hello, sir. My name is Ogechuku and I am chatting you from Asaba. I am in a dire situation right now. I need a relationship advice from you. Send. You responded. That's a quick response. Come to the address I just sent to you. Wait a minute, he's here in Asaba. He lives here in Asaba. What is this supposed to mean? All these people that I kept seeing in my dreams, they are here? Here in this same town and our paths never crossed? This is not another dream, is it? 
โอ้โหโอ้วะอาบีเดียอาบีเดียListen, Robinson. I love my life, and I will hate to lose my life because of marriage. I need to stay alive on behalf of my parents who are late. So I'm doing the right thing. Could you please step out of the way, please? But I cannot leave without you. I have lived enough without you in, in this life that I cannot continue to live without you. Can't, can't you see? Don't, don't you get it? No. I don't get it. Baby, please. I can be here for this right now. Excuse me. I need to shut my door. But you can be here. I'll do that. So please. Thank you. Please. And so, um, when you met the young man, did the dream continue? No, the dream stopped. I eventually found out when I met him that he was already engaged and about to be married to my best friend. That has been the bone of contention. My sister and friend now considers me a man snatcher and a killjoy. As a matter of fact, she has made attempt on my life twice. I was lucky. God saved me those two times. This friend of yours, who is she? Her name is Beauty. Beauty Lucas. The only daughter of Chief Lucas. Chief Lucas. Chief Lucas. Is that the chairman of the ruling political party? Yes. Oh. Oh, okay. How are you? As you can see, I'm fine. You are not. <laughs> you can't even deceive me. I mean, it is written all over you. Anyone that sees you right now will know you and not okay. You are going through a lot. Sincerely, Oge, you don't look what you claim. Peace has eluded you. But how can you even fight peace when you decided to buy the fingers that fed you? Sylvia, you are sick. Hmm? Yes, and that is the reason I do not want you to be part of this meeting. Becky, you are the sick one, okay? 
Please allow me to talk to this betrayer right in front of me, eyeball to eyeball. She did not see any other man to settle for but the one made for her best friend. Can you just stop? While we were pushing her to get herself a boyfriend, but then she said no, it's Beauty's husband she wanted. Stop! What is wrong with you? Jeez. I intentionally followed you here so I could see the face of this bastard but right in front of me once again. Oh, a wolf in sheep's clothing. Enough, Sylvia! Stop. Enough! Poison! That's Enough! Enough. Stop! What is wrong with... I... Jeez. I can't believe you followed me here just to mock your friend and induce pain on her. Oh, she's no longer my friend. Really? Yes! She ceased to be my friend the day she snatched Beauty's husband away from her. Oh. Oh, yes. Really? <laughs> Let me ask you, Oge. Okay. Oge, okay, what is chasing you out of your husband's... I mean, supposed husband's house? What is chasing you? I can't believe it. Uh -oh, Do not mind her, okay? Uh -oh. It's okay. We all know she's crazy. Yeah, um, just pay no attention to her. <laughs> you know her already. She's the big I want you to understand that Robinson leaving you is the perfect will of God for your life. He already had it planned out a long time ago, even before we met. Pastor, what exactly are you saying? You want me to pretend like nothing ever happened? Sister Beauty. I beg you in the name of God Almighty. Let it go. I can't! I can't, I can't even say that to me! Do you know what those two did to me? They connived to betray my trust and you, you come here and ask this of me? Let go? I can't! Sister Beauty, you are an embodiment of your name. You are beautiful in every sense of the word. But you are consumed by hate and bitterness because the two people you loved betrayed you. I understand. Robinson deserves to be castrated. Oge deserves to be stoned to death. They both deserve to pay dearly for what they did to you. But you have to forgive and move on. This is destiny at play here. Or would you rather kill and rot in jail or be hanged to death? I want you to think on it and pray on it. Beauty, calm down and talk to me, okay? Tell me what is eating you up. Beauty, you need to take things easy on yourself. See, I know Oge and Robinson are the reason for your current state of mind. What could be more devastating and disheartening to be betrayed by the people you trusted the most? But you have to fight. Fight back. Don't accept this humiliating defeat. Sylvia. Allow me to think. I sure will. 
But then you have to fight back with the last drop of your blood. Sylvia! I want to be left alone. Please. Are you asking me out of your father's house? <laughs> okay, no problem. I'll leave. friend, my sister, just because Sylvia wanted her to be murdered in cold blood. I could have never, I could have never, ever conceived of such evil in my mind. No, no, no. That's not me! That's not me! What if... What if I were to be apprehended for murder now? Sophie would walk free. Certainly. Whilst I... Suffer the penalty for my actions. No. I think that the best thing now is for me to relocate to the US. Yes. Yes, I need to. Yes, I need to go to America to go be with my older brothers. I'm fed up. I'm so tired of being Sylvia's stooge. I have to go. I have to go. I can't fight destiny. I can't fight destiny. Beauty, you really have to fight back. Fight to get the man that you love. Or would you rather that take this huge disgrace from that husband snatcher? Sylvia, I'm completely at a loss. What do you think I should do concerning this? I mean, how, how can I handle this to get my man back? Beauty, you should be in the right position to know how best to handle this. After all, you are more exposed and educated. Sylvia, in all honesty, I don't know what to do. Beauty, take her out. When she's out, Robinson will be left with no choice than coming back into your arms, crawling. Take her out. How? To lead her. What? Yes. Sylvia! Oh, God. How can you even suggest? that I kill my sister. Oh, beauty, please. Oge is not your sister. You're not blood related. Neither are you from the same village. Look, I'm tired of this thing you keep saying, oh, my boys are my bestie, rubbish. Take her out and have your man back again. I 
I, I can't have Oge's blood on my hands. I can't. I've never killed before. Am I cute? No. No. I can't do this. I can't kill Orgy all because of a man. Look at me. Beauty, you can't. I've never even killed a chicken for the first time simply because I can't stand the blood and the manner with which the chicken's neck is cut off with a sharp knife. How can I go on and kill a fellow human being? She says she will help me get boys that will do the job for me. Beauty? Beauty! Oh. Now what is it? Um, what is it in you all? Mom. Yes, darling. I'm good. Oh, come on! You think I'm your mate? You're not! Something is wrong somewhere. What is it? Mom. Yes. Really? I'm good. Believe me. Hmm. Well, if you insist. <laughs> All right. Since you're good, come to the kitchen with me. Let's prepare dinner. <laughs> okay, Mom. Mm. <laughs> I'll join you. <laughs> There is something that we need to understand. That no matter how strong we are, no one fights against destiny. This union is sealed by God Himself. And despite all our efforts to stop it, it prevailed. Because nobody can fight against God. Dr. Robinson, you have fulfilled all the traditional marriage rights of her village. And as the one who she now calls father, I decided this day to bring you here and bless this marriage. Right here in my living room, this day, I name her your wife. <laughs> and both of you shall live in peace and the prosperity all the remaining days of your lives.
when love was all we had. So I'll break my heart again. I don't want this pain. 